One is that some hopeful news. Um, one is you have, you're aware that there is a vaccine uh, for which very good news was announced um, by Pfizer, uh, that they were seeing very good uh, efficacy of that vaccine in protecting their um, folks that volunteered for the trials, protecting them from COVID. Um, we have in Idaho convened a uh, vaccine advisory committee um, and you can go on the coronavirus.idaho.gov website and see a list of all the, we are very proud of the broad group of stakeholders we have brought together from the medical, healthcare, um, social services, and other uh, groups to all work together to try to help us move forward, understand who should get limited supplies of vaccine first. We will be following, of course, waiting for the FDA to first authorize this vaccine to be used. We'll also be looking towards CDC, which has a vaccine advisory committee that will help determine broadly who will be getting it first. We think it'll most likely be healthcare workers. And our job in Idaho will be working with our vaccine advisory committee, um, how to get it out quickly and effectively to those healthcare workers that the advisory committee feels should be getting it first. So for example, persons that work in hospitals, uh, person that work in, um, uh, clinics where they're seeing uh, COVID patients, that type of thing. They've met twice already. It's been a really productive and wonderful conversations. And you can go to the coronavirus.idaho.gov site to see more about the committee and their work. And lastly, I just want to talk about the new uh, medication that is now available for patients with COVID. This was just also authorized uh, by the FDA, and it is, it's got a, it, the name is a mouthful. It's BAM Lan Ivimab. Ban Lem Ivimad, very hard to say quickly, and I'm hoping they come up with a, a brand name soon. This monoclonal antibody uh, has been shown to be effective uh, for patients with more milder disease who are at risk for being in the hospital but are not in the hospital. So this is uh, an exciting development because right now uh, our therapeutics are really limited to those in the hospital. Uh, this medication must be given by IV, uh, but we have already worked with hospitals throughout the state, and those are being shipped uh, to those hospitals uh, that have requested it. And your um, should patients, as they develop COVID, their healthcare workers can now determine whether this medication might be useful to them. Um, this is similar to the treatment that was given to President Trump as he became ill with COVID, um, and we are hopeful. But these measures are not enough. We know that the vaccine won't be here for a while. We're excited about it. It's a, uh, hopefully going to be a very helpful tool for uh, us. And we also are very happy to see a new therapy available. But this is not enough to stem the, the tide of the rising infections. And I join everyone else who's spoken today in urging you to please help others, wear a mask, stay apart from others, try to avoid large gatherings. We, we need everybody to do their part because we, we are seeing a rising number of cases, rising number of hospitalizations. And these therapies, while very promising, uh, are not going to um, save us now from the, the rising cases.